As you know, we live in wet California. We used to call it sunny California, but it's been raining for a year and a half. And we've been tested with water from every angle in our homes, in our condos, in our townhomes, and water is getting in. Do you know the main reason water is intruding our homes right now? Lack of maintenance. 95%, it's been written, 95% of homeowners do not follow the maintenance regulations suggestions when they buy a home. They only fix things that are broken. Some people but don't even fix the things that are broken. The biggest mistake homeowners make is just not following those maintenance suggestions. Do you know that you're supposed to have your roof checked every two years? What happens when you have your roof checked? So the sun beats on your roof. It gets hot and it gets dry and then it cracks. And when it cracks, water can seep into those cracks. But if you have a roofer go up every two years, they find these small little cracks, they put a little black mastic over it and it's fine. Guess what happens if you wait three years, four years, five years or longer? Those cracks get bigger, the water intrudes the house, gets into the inside of the home, creates mold. Now you have toxic mold, people get sick and you have a whole nother issue. So to remove the mold is an expense. To replace all the drywall that's damaged, to get inside the attic where the mold was formed and have someone remove that, to have a professional come out and suck all that bad air out is an expense. Then you gotta remediate the problem to fix where the water issue was. And because it was originally one crack, now it's this other bigger issue. You gotta replace the entire roof. Now you've replaced the entire roof, not let alone the, the finish materials that are inside your home, whether it's the flooring, the carpet, the lights, all those things become rusty, becomes an issue because you decided that you don't want to maintain your home every two years and pay a roofer $423 to go up and put some black mastic around the fireplace, which was the cause. So every single component in your home has a maintenance requirement. You should be checking your heater twice a year, having the filter changed twice a year. Did you know you're supposed to refinish your countertops once a year? Do you know how many people refinish their countertops in their home once a year? I can count it on a half a finger, right? It's very few people. But what does that do? By refinishing the countertops and putting a seal on it, it stops components breaking into the stone, discoloring it, potentially cracking it. How often do you have your tile person come out to refill your grout? You ever notice grout separating from your tile and your countertops? Guess what happens? We see it almost every time we sell a house. Water's getting in behind the crack, going down the back of the cabinets, creating mold in the back of the cabinets, or rotting the wood when you can't even see it. These are the biggest mistakes that homeowners make when they buy a home is not following maintenance suggestions. So I suggest when you buy a home, talk to your home inspector and say, hey, do you have a maintenance suggestion book? Because good home inspectors will and tell you exactly how often to check your roof, your appliances, and all the different other components in your home. So you could end up saving tens of thousands of dollars, maybe hundreds of thousands of dollars in certain cases. Thanks and happy home shopping.